Despite having a small population, Israel has a huge impact on the world. This is especially true with regards to the agritech sector, having developed a wide range of revolutionary agricultural and food security technology. ILTV had the opportunity to participate in a first-of-its-kind multidisciplinary summit, an international accelerator supported by the Israel Innovation Authority for the food, agriculture, and biotechnology industries that promotes food security from innovation to action. Investment in food tech has grown more than three times fold in the past five years, much of it in alternative proteins. Israel Innovation Authority has already invested over $70 million in, uh, in different food tech companies. We're very proud to see many of these companies here in these booths already starting to demonstrate their, uh, pro their products um, and they have been manufacturing it here in Israel. Um, the, our vision for the Israel Innovation Authority is to be the world leading innovation hub in food tech to combat climate crisis and food security for the world. The summit showcased some of the leading Israeli tech companies making an impact in the field of food security. Along the, the last four years we've been supported by the Israeli Innovation uh, Authority. We in BioBetter uh, use tobacco plants as um, as a green factory to produce recombinant proteins. We can actually produce any protein that you can imagine in these uh, tobacco leaves. When we started, it was really, at the beginning, hard to um, get all the money that we needed in order to start and to have the right people. And the IIA definitely helped us at the beginning. They gave us the first push in order to start. We are producing fresh gelato, yogurt, and sorbet which is all natural ingredients, no artificial flavoring or anything like that. And this is, the machine is only connected to electricity, nothing connected to water or milk or anything like that. So you just plug and play. We are an incubator company uh, supported by the Israeli Innovation Authorities. And we develop herbal medicine compositions that are focusing on specific medical condition in order to be part of the diet, we integrate those uh, compositions into foods. So instead of taking medicine, instead of a uh, count on pills, you are eating the right food for yourself. The summit also showcased a unique endeavor, the Kitchen Food Tech Hub, founded by the Strauss Group, an Israeli company that plays a leading role in the global food market and part of the Israel Innovation Authority's Tech Incubators program. We just built now um, our innovation lab in Rehovot. So it's the first share space uh, innovation lab that will be for our startups. Uh, it's going to contain capabilities from fermentation to cell cultivation, downstream equipment, and also an application lab. So the startup can invest their time in research and development, and we will supply with the Israeli innovation authorities that support us the capex for doing it. The mission of the summit is to strengthen food security worldwide based on coordinated strategic action and knowledge sharing. So what does the future hold? Looking for the future, I think it's all about tikkun olam, okay? It's all about how we live a better world for our kids, and it's all about food security. It's about health, availability, affordability of food, okay? And doing it while creating less impact on sustainability of the planet and to create a real global impact of the innovation that happens here.